official plan for today, I was going to take my work and go to Salesforce Park and do some work there. But um, just to be cooped up in my apartment, like I just need to get out. But it is colder than a witch's tit today. It's like 48 degrees right now, it's crazy. Um, so that's not gonna happen. I don't wanna freeze my hands off. I'm thinking about painting that one wall. These are the wall I've been decorating, the bookshelves, all that stuff. The wall next to it, we've been talking about putting something there, but I feel like putting art there will like make the space look too cluttered, but like with just the white wall, I don't know. So I'm thinking about painting it, so I'm gonna go to the paint store and pick up some paint chip sample things to bring home and just kind of like get an idea of what I might maybe want to do. Um, yeah. So that's what is up. And then I think I'm gonna pick me and John up some lunch because we deserve it. There's like this sandwich place that we just realized is like literally right around the corner from us that we wanna try. So I'm gonna give that a shot, possibly, if I make it there before they close. And that's that. I feel like one thing nobody talks about when you're losing weight is that your feet shrink. Pulled out my 2020, 2021, 2021 uh, Valentine Air Force Ones because it's February and shits are flying off my feet, bro. And it kind of sucks because I bought a lot of size nine shoes in the last two years. And uh, I don't think my feet are a size nine anymore. So that's unfortunate. plant thing going on. Gray, because my apartment's gray. But I'm not always drawn to pink, so I'm going to take these home to John and see what we come up with. Okay, so we're home now, and let's talk paint colors. So this is the wall that I'm talking about. See, it's just like... Yeah. And I'm not sure if I want to do the whole wall or just like an accent or something. Honestly, I haven't really thought that much about this. And the other thing to like consider is that we're, we rent this place. Um, not that I really care, honestly, like I painted my last apartment that we rented and it was fine. I mean, worst, what's the worst thing that happens? I have to paint over it when I leave, like whatever. I really don't care about that. But I think John is gonna check with our leasing office just to like make sure it's cool but whatever so the thing is I really like this this is like my accent for over here my fig hanging plant cascading thing so when it comes to color that's kind of where I was leaning towards also like it Paint chips are free, right? Like, I didn't have to pay, I didn't steal these, did I? My hair is at that awkward length where it curls because it just sits on my shoulder all day. Like, no matter what I do, it's just like, bing. Um, so anyway, yes, I was, I, the green is kind of what I'm thinking. The rest of our apartment is very, at least like this living area is very gray. It's actually gray and green, to be honest, if you look at it, because I've got like, <sighs> My plants are my accents, so like that's where my color comes from, is from my plants. I really like a lot of color, but I don't like it in the space where I spend the most time, which is here in the, the living room office area, because I get overstimulated. Like in there, in my gym, the pinks, the brights, the neons, that's where those live, but that's because I don't spend my whole day in there. This is what I was thinking. The first thought was doing something in like a gray tone, just to kind of match the rest of everything. I wanna turn my camera around, but it's honestly such a mess in here right now. 
so anyway, I was thinking maybe something gray. And with that, I was thinking maybe like if I were to do gray, I'd probably do the whole wall as like an accent because it's very like I'm thinking more like that gray more than like dark. But even like that, that, those two, these two would be interesting to me. Maybe like a, like do like the light color and then the dark color, like a square in it. I'm not, I have no sense of style. Um, my best friend is an interior designer and she like, she did her son's nursery and it's so pretty. And like, I wanna be her when I grow up, but like, I'm just not. So we're just winging it. My other thought was greens, obviously because of the plants. This strip is more like akin to these colors. I kind of like the top one the best to kind of like go with that. Um, but I did, I like how these ones are like grayish green. So I feel like that kind of ties things together. This one's definitely more blue than anything else. So that would be out. But I like like, I like this one and I like this one in the middle. And then my other thought, which I think is not, I just needed to like scratch this itch, honestly, and pick up pinks. I don't think I'm gonna do pink. Um, that's my pink room in there at this. I don't think this would fit. Although, again, I feel like I could do like a green with like some pink stripies. I don't, I don't know. I'm really torn about it. Honestly, I might just leave the wall blank because I don't own this place and who cares, right? Like it's, this is not my forever home, but I just like, I don't know what to do with it. It's just like, you know, it's just depressing. Can't put a shelf there. I'll hit my head. I don't know what to do, but it's, it's all, it's all a work in progress. Everything here is a work in progress. I've got another bookshelf coming. Same one as this one because I'm running out of book space already. And I think I'm just going to put it right here next to it. I don't know. I might, who knows? Let's, let me know what paint thing you think is the best. Let me know in the comments. And if I paint, I really want to. I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. So I was going to end this video with a book haul because um, I ordered a bunch of books from Target for their sale and I had a bunch of pre-orders coming this week but my Target package is delayed. So we're going to do a mini book haul and then we'll do the rest of it next week. So welcome to my elevator. <laughs> Now we're going back upstairs because they changed policy and I have to show my ID, pick up my packages, and I guess we didn't bring her ID with her. Okay, secured the bag. Round two. All three of my cats are chewing on their toes right now, and it's mesmerizing to watch. They're so cute. Are you recording? I am, but I was also just telling you they're so cute. <laughs> okay. So mini book haul, like I said, my Target order got delayed. It'll be here tomorrow, sons of bitches. But this is more fun because this is my pre-orders. Had lots of pre-orders come this week and it was kind of like, why did you all decide to release your books on the same day? But son is the one I'm most excited about. This is Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey and Tessa Bailey could rewrite the dictionary and I would read it like it was the most amazing thing I've ever read in my life. I cannot, I'm, I, I'm rereading Akatar right now. I might put it down and start this instead because I can, I can come back to that because I just smacked myself in the face with it. That's how excited I am. <laughs> how that hurt. <laughs> this one, also very excited for. Well, at least one of them. So I'll pull out one. For, okay, this is the one I wanted to pull out first. So I just started this series like last week. 
it's serious, but it's like standalones. It's interconnected. You know what I mean? Hooked, scarred, and wretched. I just finished wretched over the weekend, and that was so good. This is the new one, Twisted. They're like retellings of fantasy, but they're not retellings. They're just inspired, and they the the bad guy gets gets it. Yeah, the bad guy gets the girl. So this one is Aladdin, I believe. I think it's Jafar and Jasmine, possibly. So very excited about this one. And then the last one is kind of dumb. Well, but I don't, I'm not saying the book is dumb. It's saying it's kind of dumb for me because I bought this series and pre-ordered this book in the series. And it's one of those moments where I, I bought all the books and I haven't read any of them. So I don't even know if I'm going to like them. So I could pick up the first book in this series and realize that I hate it. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. So that's fun. My books that are coming from Target are ones that I know I either have read and I know I like them or I know I'm going to like them. So it's a little less exciting, but I just cannot wait. I feel like I'm going to finish this tonight. Look at that little lion. Imagine being that comfortable literally ever in your life. Amazing. <laughs>